Kia ora, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make your character hold a weapon with zero code. Uh, so Unity does have an inbuilt IK solution but we're not going to use that um, just because it requires some scripting and a few things to be hooked up. So instead we're going to use the new Unity animation rigging package. Uh, so you can get this from package manager, um, it's called animation rigging and yeah it's a preview package as well so make sure you have that selected. The other package we're going to use uh, is Cine Machine, just for some camera stuff and from the assets we're going to use the Polygon Starter Pack. Um, so in the scene here I've got a, a character and uh, yeah it's got some character movement stuff. If you want to know how to create this character uh, there's a link in the description on how I've made this uh, character. Um, so you can see here it's just got some animation, it's got some simple camera controls and I've attached a uh, water gun weapon just to the base of the character. Um, that's also from the Cinti Polygon uh, starter pack. Cool. Um, so the first thing we need to do to get started with the animation rigging package is on the root of our character that has the animator component, uh, we need to add a rig builder component. And this is the kind of main entry point to all the runtime rigging. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is basically create a rig layer, uh, which is this is the convention Unity uses, is basically creates a rig layer beneath the, uh, the root of the character alongside the skeleton. And we need to assign the rig uh, component to that rig layer. Um, and now we need to assign the rig layer into the rig builder. Great. Um, <clears throat> so the, the first thing that we want to do, uh, let's just pull this gun up a bit, um, is make the right hand grip the, uh, the right hand grip I guess of the of the weapon and the left hand grip the left uh, up here somewhere of the weapon um, so first of all we need to create a, a child of the rig layer this is again the re unity's recommended organization um, so let's call this right uh, right hand IK and we're going to add a two bone IK constraint so there's three properties we need to assign here the root mid and tip which is going to be our um, sorry wrong node um, it's going to be our shoulder, elbow, and hands. Uh, so, of the the right hand. Oh, sorry, that's the leg. I need to go into the spine. So, assign the shoulder, the elbow, and the hand. Great. And then for the target object, we want to target this uh, this weapon here. So, let's just see how that looks. Cool. Uh, that looks pretty good, except um, it's all twisted and stuff. Uh, so, we need to actually change the orientation. So, rather than using uh, the weapon directly. I'm just going to create a child object called um, right hand grip and you'll notice I've prefixed it with ref it just makes it quite uh, easy to kind of find um, these reference nodes in, in your tree. <coughs> uh, so I'm just going to move this back a bit here and this is the standard workflow when using the animation rigging package is you kind of set everything up then you go into play mode uh, you can now tweak the position if I just go to the scene view here tweak the position of, of this node uh, just so it looks more how you want um, and then we need to basically save the transform component values come out of play mode paste them back in and yeah so let's basically that's it for the right hand so now if we just do the same for the left hand uh, left hand IK so instead of the right shoulder we basically need to use the left shoulder the left elbow the left hand and we need to create a new reference position for our left hand to attach to um, so if I just call this left and then assign that into the target field here and again, we're just going to, uh, you can see the left hand is, is now in the same place as the right, which looks a bit funny. So we need to just uh, tweak the position here, tweak the, uh, the rotation. Oops, I think the hand is completely twisted. It should be like that. Cool. That looks uh, pretty good. To be honest, um, the character is not actually, yeah, sorry, my camera works terrible. The, uh, ca uh, the character is not actually able to reach up here just because the weapon is so far away. Um, so let's now fix up the position of the weapon. I'm just going to paste those values back into the left hand grip. Cool. Um, so next is a, the bit of a weird kind of thing. Um, you'd sort of expect if you move this gun 
Uh, because these reference nodes here are children of the gun, you'd expect them to move when you move the weapon, but this, uh, all this stuff is happening inside the animation uh, rigging package, which actually executes on the animator thread. Um, so we actually need to add uh, another component to the root here um, called rig transform, and this just makes the animation rig basically uh, aware that we're going to be modifying um, this this transform. So these ones, these constraints, um, all these nodes it already knows about because we've assigned them manually. Um, but this one I'm just controlling in the scene view, which is why I need to add the rig transform component here. So now if I go back to scene view again, now if I change the position of the weapon, all the hand positions update. Um, cool. So let's just find like maybe more sensible pose for, for the weapon. Um, not like a great animator, but just show you something. It kind of looks not too bad. Maybe let's just angle this in, bring it into the body a little bit closer. How does it look from the back? Looks a little bit high. Push it down, pull it across. You know, you could kind of tweak this all day. Something, something like that, maybe up a little bit more. Cool, that looks cool. So um, let's just copy these weapon transform values and paste them back in here. Cool. Um, so you probably noticed that the left hand position is actually not correct. I mean, now it can actually reach to where, where I'd set it before. So let's just tune this properly. So I'll just fix this up. Um, Put it on there, maybe rotate it a little bit, and then pull it this way. I think, yeah. yeah, that works. Probably need to actually tweak the finger joints, uh, but yeah, for now that looks pretty good to me. So if I just copy the transform value again here and then paste it back in, sweet. Um, so. The next thing you'll probably notice is the elbow positions. Um, they, if you look at it from the back, they kind of look a little bit, um, I don't know what they're, like pigeoned or <laughs> something. They're, they're basically too much, uh, too close to the waist. They should be sticking out a little bit more. Um, so this is what the hints node is here. It basically helps this, uh, this constraint on positioning um, the, the middle joint. Uh, so if we just add a hint node um, as a child of the elbow, I think this is the best way to do it. Then basically elbows bend backwards, so we're just going to move the hint node backwards from the elbow position. Um, a similar kind of concept you can follow for uh, the knees if you were using this constraint for doing anything foot related or leg related. So let's do the same for the right side, basically just move that back from the elbow somewhat. And now we need to assign the right hand to the right uh, hand IK and the left hand to the left hand IK. And let's have a look at that. Yeah, so now those elbows are actually sticking out a little bit more. Um, you'll notice that there's some twisting in that left hand, so I think we can get rid of that. I might have over rotated that joint. Um, there is actually a twist correction thing that you can use, but I think you need twist bones. I'm going to ignore that for now. It still looks, doesn't look terrible. Sweet. So um, the final thing that I want to show you basically is when the character moves, um, the gun is kind of like bouncing all over the place and it looks a little bit weird to be honest. Um, so I find the best thing to do is you can parent the weapon inside the skeleton hierarchy and beneath the right clavicle is quite a good place it just means the weapon is now going to be fixed to that right shoulder so any animation that is affecting the right clavicle will actually be passed onto the weapon yeah and that that looks a lot better so the right side of the weapon is a bit more fixed and the left is kind of floating around um, and that's basically it yeah um, you can obviously tweak the position of the weapon and stuff uh, a ton to suit your needs um, but that, that's that's the general idea of this package. And all of this done, was done without any, any kind of code or anything, um, which is the huge advantage that this has over the IK 
the built-in IK stuff. So if you're wondering really what the difference is between Unity's built-in IK solution and this animation rigging package is yeah, everything uh, in the animation rigging package, you can just do completely in the editor. You can control all of the weights as well. So you can blend this in and out. Um, there's, there's tons of features and it's super flexible and you don't have to open an animation editor at all. So uh, this was all just done. It's all blended over the top of the idle animation didn't open the animation graph once um, so yeah and it works pretty seamlessly like with the the run animation as well it just blends in nicely um, and yeah so so that's it uh, yeah so if you've got any uh, questions or comments uh, just let me know um, below and I'll try to get back to you and uh, yeah please like and subscribe and or dislike if you didn't like the video um, yeah, and that, that, that's it. All right. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Uh, Kakite.